Rainbow Six Siege is a multiplayer game that still continues to grow along with its player base. As the game's life cycle continues, players have seen a lot of changes and it still continues to add a ton of features to the game. We've seen them add new gadgets and items to the game, but I just wanted to share the things I wanted to see in R6 in the future. First thing that I want to see in R6 are new optics. As of now, the optics that are featured in R6 are the Aimpoint Micro T1, the Trigicon RMR Type 2, the Cobra EKP815, the OKP7 Sight, the Trigicon ACOG Scope, and the PK01, which is actually a Russian holographic sight. Now, I'm really getting sick of using the same optics over and over, and I wanted to use something new, so... Here are some optics that I want to see in the game. I don't want them to be game changers or anything, just an alternative aesthetic for the optics. First is the Mueller Quickshot Reflex and the Trigicon RX-01 sight as an alternative to the current reflex sight in the game. I've seen this sight in other popular shooters and I think it will fit well in R6. Next is the Aimpoint Comp M4 as an alternative to the game's current red dot sight. Now, for the ACOGs, I have two alternative options, the Trigicon TA31 and the M145, but I want this optic to be exclusive for machine guns and the Canadian rifles in the game. As for the Russian ACOG, I suggest the PKA scope since it's an actual scope that is being used. Now for the attachments. The game is already 3 years old and there's still not enough attachments in the game. My first idea for a new attachment is a bipod grip, exclusive for machine guns. I observe players don't use MGs that often and hopefully more customization options for the machine guns will appeal to more players. Next attachment that I propose is a third grip for assault rifles and it's the Magwell grip. My idea for this is when you are using this grip, your gun will have increased reload speed but will sacrifice accuracy for your gun. I am aware that some of the assault rifles in the game are bullpup rifles, so I guess this attachment is only compatible for AR-15 or AR-10 type rifles only. For a new gadget, I think the M86 PDM would probably fit well in R6. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like a claymore mine but it's activated via multiple trip wires. I know Capcan already has EDD so in order for him not to be overshadowed, the gadget would set off mini flashbangs instead of explosives. The idea for this is to obviously slow down rushers and force the attacking team to be more careful. The next thing that I wanted to see in R6 is an expanded situations mode. Rainbow Six Siege continues to grow with new operators each season, and until now, players both old and new have to rely on YouTubers on how to use these new operators correctly. The game doesn't even tell you what the operator's strengths and weaknesses are, their counters, and how to use them properly. So I do hope to see a more expanded situations mode in the future for new players. The next thing I want to see is the return of Six. The only time we've seen Six was back in the White Masks trailer for Rainbow Six Siege back in 2015. She was mentioned a lot during the Outbreak Mode event, but we haven't seen or at least heard anything from her, and I do hope we get to see her again in the future. It'll also be cool if she makes a comeback as a playable operator, you know? That would be really badass. Come to think of it, it would also be cool if one of the former deputy directors of Team Rainbow would also come back as playable operator operators alongside with the current director of Rainbow Team. Then the next thing I want to see is the true intentions of the White Masks. After you've beaten the situations mode in the game, we still don't get to know the reason why the terrorist group called the White Masks are conducting biochemical attacks across the globe. All we know is that they pose a threat so high that they were the reason why Team Rainbow was reactivated. Hopefully we get to see Team Rainbow put a stop to the White Mask and hopefully we get to see them again by maybe another co-op event like what they did during Operation Chimera. Next is a a map set in Las Vegas. If you've played Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2, then you'll know why I want this map set in this place. The Rainbow Six Vegas games were pretty good during its time, and I would really love to see the devs make a Vegas map that pays homage to the Rainbow Six Vegas games. Okay, the next thing I wanted to see is to reduce the price for DLC operators. Okay, there are now currently 20 DLC operators in this game, and all of them cost 25,000 renown each, and you would have to spend a total of 500,000 renown to unlock all of them. It would take too long for new players to unlock the DLC operators given that the renown you earn after each match is too little. Thing is, 25,000 renown is a bit too much of a stretch, don't you think? 
I suggest making the DLC operators cost mm, maybe at least 5,000 to 10,000 renown so that new players can keep up with the current meta. Speaking of reduced prices, they should also reduce the price for cosmetics. It's just ridiculous to see most of the headgears, weapon skins, and uniforms cost a lot more than DLC operators. I would have to play a ton of matches just to get at least one cosmetic item I want. Some cost 30,000 renown, and some cost 27,000 renown. Would it even hurt to reduce the price a bit? Like, make the price of the cosmetics fair and affordable. I know they're just cosmetics only, but I sense they made the cosmetics so expensive so that players are more attracted to buying R6 credits to mitigate the grind that they have to do. When you think about it, it's a predatory practice and it kinda bothers me. I know that the devs need money to support the game, but come on. They're already making enough money by selling elite skins. Unless they have statistical evidence that they do need money, I'll be glad to spend my money on some R6 credits. Okay, next thing I want to see in the future with this game is more renown. This has been an issue since the game first released. Like I said earlier, the slow grind of the game makes you want to spend real world money to unlock the things you want. 150 to 300 renown is too little, and most of the time, new players have so little spending power in this game. Giving away at least 1000 renown is fair enough after each match. And finally, the next thing I want to see is a firing range feature. Now, this feature isn't anything new or innovative, but I think it will help new players, veteran players, and R6 content creators experiment with attachments for their guns and to see if their customizations can match with their playstyle. Well, this is the end of the video, and thanks for watching till the very end. If you like this video, give it a like, share, and maybe consider subscribing. Well, this is Dre, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care.